Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week called Executive Saloons basically wants to use you to use either the 2005 BMW M3 or the 2006 Audi RS4 to complete all of the challenges. So a good couple of options there. So without further ado, let's go and have a look at the car we will be using in today's one. So I opted for the 2006 Audi RS4, but as it says, you can also use the 2005 BMW M3 if you choose this. Now I've created a tune for the RS4 as well if you want to use it. It's called Epic RS4 and the share code is 182950610 and it's packing 1200 brake horsepower so it should easily complete this week's challenges. Now the first one here wants you to earn 12 stars from speed traps in either of your cars which is really really easy to do. So first of all we're going to pick out a speed trap and I'll show you why this is the one that I always use. So it's the Asmol Speed Trap, and to get three stars on here, you only have to hit 140 mile an hour, which in a 1200 brake horsepower Audi RS4, as you can imagine, is super, super easy to do. You don't need a massive run up, and all in all, it should take you between two and three minutes to complete. So all you have to do, obviously, is get three stars on your first run, just hit over 140 mile an hour, do a U-turn, do it again and then do it two more times after your first two runs and you'll have 12 stars very very quickly it's a really really nice and easy challenge to start this week's Forzathon off in and like I said either the BMW or the Audi will both be able to complete this challenge very very easily now the next challenge wants you to win three road series events in either of your cars which again is super super easy and as you can imagine I have a race created just for this so you can complete it as quickly as possible so first of all, you just want to filter your road racing event map uh, on the map. And I went over to the Lakehurst Forest Sprint, which is where I've got a race set up. I'm sure that some of you guys have used this one before. Now you can do it on any race if you rather. You know, you can do a full race or a blueprinted one that's really short. And as you can see here, this is a blueprint one that I've created. So it's called Super Quick. And the share code for this one is 208. 672282 and if you want to do this race you're more than welcome to there's the availability to do it or like I said you can just hop into a normal one but this one will get the challenge over and done with very very quickly I think it takes about 10 11 seconds to complete very very nice and easy and you can do it on whatever difficulty you want as well it doesn't make a difference as it's only a Forzathon event so all you have to do is do that three times and that's a challenge complete now for the final one, which wants you to get three show-off skill combos. Now, I'm sure that you're aware in last week's fest, uh, Forza Thon event, it wanted you to get uh, some show-off skills as well. And we're doing it in the exact same way as before. So we went over to the Ambleside Rush cross-country circuit, where again, I have a special blueprint set up. Now, for those of you who don't know, a show-off skill is a drift skill and an overtake skill combined, hence why it's a show-off skill combo. So if you want to hop into this race, the share code is on your screen now, 6223882275. What happens is at the very beginning, the AI will drive off to the right, which gives you the opportunity to drift past them and get an overtake skill. Now, what you must know about this is you can't be too far away from the opposition or you won't necessarily get the overtake skill. And you have to be initiating the drift just before you do the overtake as well for it to count as a show off skill combo. But it's actually really, really easy. And I'm sure there are other races and blueprints created just like this. Or you can hop into a normal race. It's entirely down to yourself. But I'm going to show you all three attempts here. It took me more than three attempts, if I'm honest. Obviously, a bit of editing and we got there in three attempts. But at the end of the day, I think it only still took me about five minutes to complete. Having a blueprint like this definitely helps. But the other thing is you can do this on whatever difficulty you want and your car doesn't have to be tuned. It doesn't always help. If you hop in the BMW, obviously that's going to be rear wheel drive. The Audi is always four wheel drive with its quattro system, but it doesn't make a ton of difference really. It is a fairly easy challenge to complete, like I said, with all these little helpful bits added in. So if you have any questions about that one or you're struggling with it, say so down below in the comments and I'll see if I can help you out as best as I can. Apart from that, folks, I want to say a massive thank you. We've hit 7,000 subs, which is a massive achievement in my eyes. And I really, really want to say thank you for all of the support you've been giving me. I hope this video did help you out. If you are new to the channel, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe. And if this video did help you out, don't forget to drop a like as well. Apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you take care and stay safe.
します。